Hey guys, welcome back to Copycat Friday, the weekly series in which we try to recreate visual effects from famous movies and music videos. And finally, the new Ghostbusters movie is coming out. And if we think about the Ghostbusters, we obviously think about the Proton Pack, aka the Ghost Blaster. It's an iconic effect that we're going to recreate today, but we're going to do it a little bit different. We found a way to make it look really good by combining practical techniques with a little bit of visual effects inside Adobe After Effects. So without further ado, let's get Get blasting. Creating lasers is quite easy, but the hard part is creating realistic lighting from the lasers itself. You are going to need to do some heavy post-production with painting back the light, and even then it's possible that it's not looking realistic. However, today we are going to do something completely different. Currently we're testing out Currently we're testing out a practical way to create this Ghostbuster laser. And of course we're not going to create a real laser because we're not that smart, but we're trying to do this with a LED strip. Not only is the LED strip going to mimic the light of the laser itself, but also the movement of it since we'll be waving it around. Isn't that right, Janik? It's right. And it's finished. Also, Timo left us. He's somewhere lost in Stockholm. F you, Timo. <laughs> no, it's a joke. Come back. The testing went great. Of course, it's gonna need some fine tuning and a lot of it. And for this, we are going to need some explosion and smoke assets. Luckily, Storyblocks, our sponsor for today's video, has more than 1 million royalty-free stock assets. In their ever-growing library of high-quality stock assets, you can find HD and 4K footage, After Effects templates, Premiere Pro templates, music, images, sound effects, and much more. We are using Storyblocks for a while now, and we love it. They really help us to bring our stories to life without losing time, budget, or resources. We always find the assets that we need in their library for every video that we make. Everybody has deadlines just like us, but everybody is also working on a certain budget. Like, who can go to space to take a few shots? Well, Storyblocks can, and you can too with their affordable subscription plans that fit your budget. And to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited access plan. So that means you can try out every clip that you want to find the perfect one. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, Click on the first link in the description below. Set building 101. If you want to build a laboratory, just throw around some wires, some circuit boards, basically all the tech you have laying around. And then for the light, choose some pretty colors and you're done. Look how beautiful. Now recently I did some upgrades to the studio, I actually installed a whole DMX system allowing me to control all of the lights through an iPad which is pretty cool and I can just stand here next to the monitor and see how my image looks and just make changes based on that. Now the video is being wirelessly transmitted from the camera to here and we're using the brand new Hollyland Cosmo C1 for that. Uh, big thanks to them for sending us this product, we're gonna make a video about this in a couple of months. Uh, until then you can already check out the link in the description somewhere if you want to learn more about it. But in a nutshell this transmitter is aimed for the professional users it has way less latency allowing you to do more focus pulling on it and also you can hook up this receiver directly to your computer allowing you to do live streaming or use it as a webcam etc so a whole bunch of very cool features but more about that in the future we're out of budget guys best thing about this outfit is that Jordi can keep on his pants Now the big question, what do we need for this effect? Well, we're gonna need an LED strip and a fake gun. This we're going to assemble together so that the LED is coming out of the gun. Next, we're gonna shoot from a tripod. Let your actor stand with his gun really tough and let him shoot. Then on the other side of the LED strip, let somebody wave so you can mimic the wavy motion of a laser. And oh yeah, don't forget to take an empty shot. 
Very important, you're gonna need an empty shot to paint away the LED strip hanging out of your gun. Also, don't forget to increase the shutter speed because we don't want any motion blur on the LED strip. Otherwise, the rotoscoping in post-production will get too difficult. Now, speaking about post-production, let's create some iconic ghost sketching proton lasers. Like with every effect, we placed our original shot into the composition. Then on top, we placed our empty shot, which we're going to use to remove the LED strip in the beginning of our clip. On the empty shot, we create a rough mask that will cover the LED strip. Of course, we feather the mask a bunch. Then, on the moment that our talent opens fire and ignites the strip, we animate the mask to reveal the strip. Once we have the animation, we can start working on the laser itself. We took our original clip and duplicated that on top of everything. Next, we're going to rotoscope our LED strip, singling it out. Double click on your duplicate and with the roto tool, start painting. A few important things here. After Effects is going to have a difficult time with the rotoscope, so we need to help it out. Now, the roto doesn't need to be that clean. You can have small bumps here and there. These bumps will even add to the randomness of the laser. However, if they are too big, we need to remove them. Then, the most important thing is that the rotoscope needs to exist out of one part. There can't be any interruptions or holes, otherwise the laser effect will look very bad later on. So, we examine every frame and made sure that no holes are getting past us. After we're done, we freeze our roto and are ready to give our laser the wanted look. The first thing we now need to do is convert the rotoscope into a mask. This we need to do because we are going to use the Free Saber plugin from Video Copilot. And this plugin lets you create lasers in the shape of a mask. So it's converting time. Select your rotoscope layer and go to the menu on top. Select layer and way on the bottom select auto trace. In the auto trace settings set the time span to work area and then we played around with the settings. What worked best for us was decreasing the minimum area to 0 and the corner around with 230. We also increased the threshold to 100 and then just pressed ok. After effects will now make a new layer with a mask in the shape of our LED strip. Exactly what we want. Of course to keep everything clean you can remove or hide the rotoscope layer. We don't really need it anymore. Next up make two duplicates of our mask layer and let's rename them to satisfy our OCD. The bottom one will be the blaster inner white, the second one will be the blaster orange glow and the top one blaster saber. Now take all three layers and change the blending mode to screen. Then take the orange glow layer, change the color settings of the solid layer from white to orange, also expand the mask of this layer and feather it a whole bunch, creating a nice orangey glow around the laser. Next, look for the saber effect and add that to the blaster saber layer. For the look of the saber effect, you can choose whatever you want. We went for the arc reactor preset and fine-tuned it a little bit. The only setting that is super important is the core type option. This needs to be adjusted to layer mask. And if you have done this correctly, you will now have a cool proton laser beam. How easy was that? But we can even make it cooler with some extra details. We want to add some extra lightning details to our proton beam and this we will also do with the saber effect. We took the blaster orange glow layer and duplicated that on top of everything. Renamed it blue lightning and added the saber effect. Within the effect we again changed the core type to layer mask and for the preset we went for electric. Then we fine tuned the settings until we had two smaller electric lines around our proton beam. Now to add some randomness we used the turbulence displays effect and again tweaked the settings until we had the look that we wanted. Now, one last thing we want to do is break up the electric beams in smaller parts, adding that chaos. We simply created a new solid layer on top of everything, then added a fractal noise effect to it and animated the evolution for some movement. We also increased the contrast, the brightness and the scale a bunch to create this hard noise effect. Then the only thing we now need to do is set the track mat option of our blue lighting to luma mat. And boom, our electric beams done. Of course, we can now add some motion blur with the pixel motion blur effect or some extra details like a flare, maybe some sparks, whatever we want. Hi, I'm Jordy and welcome to my laboratory. I designed the brand new Ghost Blaster for the Ghostbusters. No more proton packs. Ghostbuster Blaster. Guys, turn off the lights, please. Let's give this bad boy a try. <laughs> okay, that didn't really go as planned, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. Definitely check out the incredible library link in the description down below. And if you want to see more failed experiences, ex experiments, you can actually find a video here on my left where we did three failed experiments. Really cool video, definitely check that out. And definitely don't forget to subscribe down there, that little button to see us every single week. And as always, stay creative. Now where are those blueprints?